from my morning movement, which was a walk today. And I am very hungry, also very thirsty. It is so warm in the summer. In the morning, it's like, let me see what temperature it is. Like 74 at 7 a.m. So definitely is hot. I did 40 minutes outside, which is pretty ideal. Not too long, so it's just before just before eight so that means like the next hour is like food coffee a little bit of my devotions reading things like that that i try to do in the morning and then get ready to start the day even though i work from home i try to take the like mentality of i'm going to work even though it's like right over there i'm going to work <laughs> there um but it also helps me just with the mental aspect of like, okay, get up, start to be productive, do things. If I take the day on as like, I'm leaving, but I'm not leaving. So the morning walk, whether it's a walk, a run, or going to the gym, I try to use that as sort of like my commuter <laughs> mindset. So that's like the time between leaving my home and coming back and now I'm going into work. So even though I'm about to make a coffee, and make breakfast, it still feels like this is right before I start my day and it sort of like cues my brain to realize work is coming. And also I try to be off my phone. Don't we all, I do really try. I know that my alarm is my phone, which is an ideal, but I do avoid being on my phone as much as possible in the morning. I don't want to be sitting scrolling because that's how you lose time. You can lose 40 minutes. Instead of going for a walk, you could sit there and scroll. So I try my best to not do that but let's make some coffee, have a bit of water after that walk. The trays come out and now they get cleaned while I eat. So I know I showed you the like cleaner that I use. I can link it below. I do think it is worth it. And then I also use the little tablet. I break it in half and use half a day, which seems to work. They look clean definitely feel clean which is important so I let that dissolve and then I add the trays in and clean them while the coffee's going and breakfast is going because I'm a multitasker even in the morning I need to multitask and as you saw I did like a very light amount of makeup so probably after breakfast I'll just do like my full easy everyday makeup just again because I do think it helps even when I'm working from home to do a little bit of makeup feel put together and then that way if I end up going out or I do something then I can enjoy it. I am ready to go. I don't have to worry. Eggs, and if you notice it, 
Today, there's a treat for breakfast. Michael went to Air One yesterday and got this juice. It is their Red Roots, which is their, um, it's like beet, ginger, I think carrot. It's so good. So obviously he's had a little bit this morning, but I'm going to have some with breakfast. It is probably my favorite Air One beverage. Um, I don't really get the smoothies that much. I guess I'm just not really a smoothie person. I prefer this, so shake well and enjoy. But this is like, this is not an everyday treat. So saving some for him still and my little portion. I'm at home, a girl with many beverages. So I have my coffee, which is over here. I have this juice, I'll have water. And it's like I'm out for brunch, but it's just me at home with all my beverages. It's just so good. My gut has been a mess. I want has it not. Um, my gut has been a mess the past week. I'm trying to figure out what it is. But the ginger in here just helps your tummy so much. breakfast because I need protein so I go for the eggs the most basic level look at these just like fried eggs but they're good and I've been doing like some some in-season fruits so obviously cherries the juice my coffee I have all my books that I want to work on also my Theragun because I need to contact them it broke um, but this is my journal this is my devotional that I use I also use the Bible app on my phone I've been reading manifest so I've been working my way through this and sort of like time and time again. So I will eat first and then get into this fun, just sort of like recentering myself. Back to reality. And now I have to put me trays in, which is like the least amount of fun. <sighs> I always like to rinse them first. I feel like the plastic taste is weird. Oh, that is a tight fit. And you probably saw earlier that despite wearing Invisalign, I still have an elastic. So I still have to wear an elastic to hold my bottom and upper trays together because I need to really move my teeth around because there's a lot of molars on this side that have to move. I can already feel the shifting of the teeth, the bones. I am going to do a video at some point soon about Invisalign, Botox, and my migraines, and what I have to report about those three together. But as I mentioned, I'm going to do just a light makeup to get ready for the day. I'm gonna to touch up some of the waves with this three barrel, which if you didn't see, I think my latest video, you'll see how I do these waves. This is day two, I think, day two of this. So it's actually kept a pretty nice, like loose shape. It's just more around my face, but I do want to get ready for the day, even though I'm going to be working from home. My morning routine does change day to day, or I guess definitely season to season. So one thing that I try to focus on for my mornings is making sure that I am taking care of myself mentally, emotionally, and physically. So physically, obviously like going for a walk, going for a run, going to the gym. Sometimes it will be a long walk. Today was about 40 minutes. Sometimes it'll be a run, which right now it feels too hot to do that. And then other times it'll be going to the gym and doing just like weightlifting in the morning. Sometimes I do that in the afternoon. So it's not like I have to do the gym in the morning. I know some people are very, very much gym people in the morning, which all power to them. But sometimes I just, I don't have it in me to do it in the morning. So it depends on the day, it depends on how I'm feeling. And I think that's a big thing living with, um, whether it's like chronic pain or just even pain at, in general. Like I know I have a lot of friends and a lot of followers who have migraines and whether it's chronic or not, you have to listen to your body to see what your body needs. So I really try to 
listen to what my body needs and do one of those things for my physical body, but it usually has to be about 30 minutes. That is for me, a non-negotiable is a 30 minute. Sometimes it can even be like stretching. Like if I'm in a pretty big flare of pain, like when I got back from Italy and my back was a disaster, I could barely go for long, well, I could barely go for any walk, let alone a long walk. So a lot of times that was stretching and just movement like that. Breath work is a type of movement physically. So I do think that that is important. I've been trying to incorporate some breath work even if it's like two minutes, like you saw, I did two minutes this morning just to recenter myself, get back into my body. So the physical aspect of my morning routine is to get back into my body. My emotional is sometimes it's just listening to a podcast. It's my morning affirmations, things that will boost my emotions, give me that positivity. And then a lot of times that emotional will also go into the mental. So for me, the mental is making sure that I am checking in with myself, how I'm feeling. That definitely comes into play when I'm doing my devotionals because a lot of times it makes you have to be aware of your emotions, how you're looking at the world. If you are feeling sorry for yourself or you're feeling um, like there's a lot of comparison going on in your life. Today's devotional was about gratitude, which is something that I think is a recurring theme for many of us. I know for me, um, just about being grateful, whether you have everything you want or you don't, because I think it's quite easy to only be grateful when you've achieved what you want or you've gotten all the things that you want. And so this one is about being grateful despite maybe not having everything. And if you can be grateful when you have less things, it prepares you to receive more things and to be grateful to whether that's God, the universe, whatever it is that you follow, knowing that there's like a higher power that you can be grateful towards and that things are working for you as long as you are doing the work also, because it doesn't just happen, unfortunately. And so I normally get up two hours before I wanna start my day. I try to wake up every day around 6.45. Sometimes in the summer, it will be earlier because of the temperature when I wanna go out. I want to be outside before it's too hot so there are times that i am outside at 6 30 because i woke up around 6 or 6 15. if i wake up before my alarm but after 6 a.m then i get up because otherwise i just feel very sluggish and lazy um but i think it is important to have ideas of structure but not be so hard on yourself for your morning routine structure because then you can just feel like you're not achieving something and then you don't want to start your day feeling like you're already failing something. So that's why I look at the three different like tiers of my morning, the three different things that I want to have in my morning routine, which is something for mental, physical, and emotional. And like I said, I do try to stay off my phone. So I have like 22 text messages right now that I've not replied to. And I probably won't for a few hours. A lot of times I might see who's texted me, how long the messages are, are they essays, or are they not? And maybe reply to them as I begin my work day, or I will actually just wait until later on in the day. But once I'm finished doing this, I'm gonna get dressed. And then I set up my computer for about 10 minutes before I like dive into work to really look at my top, usually three things is what I try to identify my top three things. And then from there, I dive into work and get the day going. I'm working on some Notion templates for that, just like the organization of my day. So if you're a Notion person, please let me know below because maybe I can get you to test out some templates because I do want to share these at some point, but I wanna make sure that people like them and find them to be helpful. So I'm gonna finish this up, get changed, and then head to my computer. I am dressed in a very simple outfit. It is just my Abercrombie lo Curve Love jeans. And then I don't even know what brand this shirt is. It's just a long sleeve black shirt. Um, tucked it in to stay warm in the AC. At my desk at work, it is um, 8.49, 8.50 basically. So I do try to sit down 10 minutes before. A lot of times I have 9 a.m. calls. So 
since I work with most people in EST, I have to be like on it when I start my day. When I first got to LA, I was doing a lot of 7, 8 a.m. calls, which I sometimes do, but I do try to keep it to 9 a.m. for me just because I'm not on the ball at 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. If I had to do it five days a week and it was like that was every single day, then I could get into that routine. But since I don't have calls every day that early, it's hard for like one day to be early and then the next day not. So I sit down, I go through what is sort of like my overarching morning or day schedule of like what is the biggest priority, what are the things that I'm working on, and I like to identify at least three key tasks that I need to tackle for that day that are like my non-negotiables. And usually one of those three is something I've been avoiding or not wanting to do, and it's the thing I do first. So this is not work-related, but it is a non-negotiable. I have to call the DMV today about some car issues we've been having with our license plate. I'm not looking forward to that. I've spent hours at the DMV, so that is on the top three. Usually it is work things, but the other two are relatively manageable. We will see, but they don't seem that crazy. And then I have other projects that kind of work its way down. So let's say like finalizing our spring collection and reviewing line sheets or things that aren't as like I guess big lift as doing something like the DMV, something that's big. Um, so I do try to do, identify all those, those things, put out any thoughts that I have. Like a lot of times when I'm out on my walk or when I'm eating breakfast, whatever it may be, I'm thinking about work, unfortunately. So if there's any ideas, thoughts, or little things I've been forgetting, I put them on my running to-do list. And then that's how I sort of structure my day. Obviously, if I have calls, I already have that structure for the day. And then one thing I do before is I take my vitamins. So I put my vitamins in this little like little bowl. Look at that cute little bowl. These are my vitamins, six of them. So I have multivitamins. I have um, a mixture of electrolytes, potassium and magnesium vitamin, and then a fiber vitamin. I think I've talked about them before. I think I showed them on a recent vlog but i can also link them below or if you have questions these are very generic these are not harmful i would say that it's always important to talk to whether it's a naturopath physician about vitamins but just because everyone's taking it doesn't mean that you should be especially probiotics i'm just going to leave that out there your gut is very sensitive and some things are not designed for everyone so just remember that when you're being sold a probiotic from your favorite influencer but these are my vitamins. I take them. I, like I said, I have my trays back in. All I'm doing is drinking water. I have what you're sitting on, my Stanley. This is 30 ounces. It's the only way that I get water in during the day because it is right in front of me. It's through a straw. I don't have to go fill it up. I can just sit here and drink while I work. And I am going to plug in and get things going. And as much as this was a fun morning routine, it's not my ideal morning routine. I definitely like have this vision of who, of who I could be, the woman I want to be with like this amazing morning routine, which I might work on it. I might actually do like a morning routine for like my ideal self. If I was like her, if I had arrived to who she is. Um, if you're questioning what I'm talking about, just go to my sub stack. You'll know what I'm talking about in terms of like your online persona and showing up as who you want to be. But anyways, that might be another one. If you have thoughts about morning routines, advice, tips, please share them. Or if there is something you want to see, you know, I'm always receptive. So let me know below. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for joining me on my morning and I will see you on the next one. Bye.